Good morning guys, welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host Mark Guido. And that beautiful view behind me is of the Beartooth Mountains in southern Montana. Uh, we got here yesterday. We're gonna explore the nearby town of Red Lodge and also take a drive almost to 11,000 feet over the famed Beartooth Highway, so stick around. Now we drove over here yesterday from the Big Horn Mountains west of Sheridan, Wyoming. If you missed that episode, I'll put a link to it right here. You can go back and check it out. But the drive over here was uh, quite exciting. It involved uh, grades of 10% that actually stretched for something like 13 miles. They have all kinds of crazy warnings on the side of the highway. Uh, I kept the truck in first gear on the descent and quite frankly, uh, the trailer was pushing me to accelerate. It was pretty exciting. My plan was to drive over the Beartooth Highway, but we're going to check it out today. Uh, word has it it was snowing up there yesterday, and it's supposed to snow up there all weekend. And if that's the case, I'm going to take the long way around through Livingston, Montana to get to uh, where Mrs. Grand Adventure is in Gardner, Montana. Anyway, the town of Red Lodge, Montana is about 13 miles north of where we're camped right now. Our camp is... Uh, right at the base of the switchbacks leading up the Beartooth Highway. We're in a place called Main Fork, which is part of the Custer National Forest. We're dispersed camping, actually just outside an established campground, but we are dispersed camping because I didn't want to be in a campground. The weather forecast for this weekend's a little iffy. Uh, they're talking about quite a bit of rain for tomorrow, Saturday, and the clouds are in and out today. It's supposed to thicken up uh, with a pretty good chance of rain later on today. So we're going to try and get as much done today as we possibly can. I was in Red Lodge once before, 20 years ago, to ski at Red Lodge Mountain. Red Lodge is equally vibrant in summer as the northern gateway to the famed Beartooth Highway. The town's Broadway is positively bustling with tasteful cafes and restaurants, boutiques and bars. Nevertheless, there's a working population here too, giving the town an authentic feel. I am once again truly enjoying this day in Red Lodge. Just east of Red Lodge is the hamlet of Bear Creek, now nearly a ghost town following the closure of the Smith Mine in the 1950s after a disastrous explosion in 1943 that left 74 miners dead. U.S. Route 212, better known as the 69-mile Beartooth Highway, descends south of town and climbs via innumerable hairpin switchbacks the cling to the mountainside to carry travelers to a lofty elevation of nearly 11,000 feet. Constructed in the 1930s, the Beartooth Highway was first conceived as an access route to Yellowstone National Park from the Northeast. That's Beartooth Basin Ski Area on the north side of the pass. Remarkably, this ski area isn't even open in winter. Its two surface lifts start spinning for the season once the highway first opens in spring, and lift surf skiing typically lasts into July. I'm finding no shortage of breathtaking views alongside this highway.
now here at the top, it's actually started snowing with a blustery wind that's downright nippy, even though I'm dressed appropriately for the conditions. Descending the other side of the pass, the snowfall is quickly intensifying. It looks like they've still got the snow removal machinery parked and ready to go. And even though we're dropping in altitude, the storm is becoming more intense by the mile. Folks, today is June 15th. I'd hate to be that couple ahead of me on the motorcycle. Not only has that got to be cold, but the snow is actually starting to form a slushy accumulation on the roadway. Okay, now we're in Cook City, near the other end of the Beartooth where it's just raining. Just four miles west of Cook City, the highway ends at the northeastern entrance to Yellowstone. While having lunch in Cook City, they closed the Beartooth behind me, forcing me to take the longer, lower, and no less scenic route over Dead Indian Pass to return to Red Lodge. Just woke up to steady rain and 44 degrees. It just absolutely poured all night long. As I've got no cell service at camp, I'll head into town to get some video editing done over Wi-Fi at a local coffee shop. So after spending a couple of hours in the coffee shop working on Grand Adventure, we actually got a reprieve, a temporary break in the weather uh, before the rain moves back in this afternoon. So I've come back to camp with the girls, give them some exercise, and figured I'd use this opportunity to also film the wrap-up for this video. Uh, we're going to be hitting the road in the morning, heading for the Gardner, Montana area just north of Yellowstone. And while this, this trip, this, our plans don't really include a visit to Yellowstone, we'll be driving through the park on Monday and we'll feature that in the next episode. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up down below. Any questions, hit us up in the comments section. We'd love to receive your feedback and help you out in any way that we can. Uh, if, make sure that you become one of our grand adventurers. Smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you can travel with us around the Western U.S. this summer. And until next time, please remember, life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you soon.